Okay, so this is the Microsoft Surface on running on an HP Touch Smart. It's running a little slow today, but the platform works really well. It's a little slow on here because I have all the RAM dedicated to a certain rendering video in the background, but this is a screensaver. This is a they have this for Windows 7 Microsoft touchscreen package. This is the Lagoon screensaver. So it's pretty neat. And uh, the, t the touchboard PCs on older versions, uh, this is like a IQ505, I think this one is. It only has two multi touch points. So I can just do two points and drag those around. And this will just kind of render them. And as I have my fingers on the screen, you can see the little dots register as I go along. And the fish will react to however I uh, move them. So if there's a fish, they'll run away from the, the pond. Okay, so we're going to get out of this. And this is the photo collage. And this lets me manipulate photos however I want. So it's, this is different from the normal photos because this one actually has physics involved in it. And I can stretch these photos as big as I want. And just manipulate them the whole time and just get a big... It's actually really hard to get the whole thing in the screen. Just get a big manipulative photo just to play around with. It's a big like sandbox. And if I grab a corner, it stays attached to that corner of the picture. If I got the center, it'll stay center. Um, there's a whole bar that takes all your photos and I can stick them all down here. And that'll stick down there. I can just bring up any photo from anything. I don't know if that was a math folder for a while ago I did. Um, We'll put that behind. Uh, here, I'll close this one out and I'll check out the. We're gonna go to the Microsoft Globe. This is really neat because this runs uh, through Bing, which has a really nice satellite service. And right now it's loading. And there's a video. There's a movie. My mom's watching a movie in the background. Just kind of ignore it and give this a second to load. It'll give me some directions. I can move around. Still, the same engine runs the pictures that runs the globe. So, they're still working some kinks out. But it works for the most part pretty well. Okay, so, I have my 3D globe. This is almost about as good as Google Earth, but the multi-touch on it is a lot better for the uh, Microsoft version to a Surface. It's meant to do this. So, uh, I can just kind of manipulate this however I want. Uh, 3D, I mean, if you have Google Earth and a touchscreen computer, this has also been done before. But, um, but it runs Bing Maps, so Bing has a nice, a little bit nicer, uh, um, map service. Especially the bird's eye view. But, uh, what else is there? Some other options. I can also, here we go. Tips, collections, export push pins, push pins. Road view, here we go. So now I can get just the road view map of the Earth. And I'll zoom out here. Now, of course, it's easier if I had two hands, but I'm holding a camera as well, so that doesn't help me at all. And it has all sorts of constellations, I didn't notice that. So I can see the constellations over here. But let's see here. Back to the Earth view. And I can find an address or location by pulling up a uh, keyboard. And let's find my house. Oh no, let's, you know, let's not get my house. I don't want you to give you I guess, my address here. Let's find New York. And now it's going to pan to that. Close this out. Of course, I didn't type New York City, so I got New York, Switzerland, but you can see how it works. And it should be able to pull up, there we go, certain options that I want to do. So if I want to tag this of any way, select a push pin that I can edit. Let's see here. And let's see here. 
So that just sets my push pin up for that specific area. But if I was to add a push pin, I could just drag and drop a push pin anywhere. So I can put a house push pin. This is where I live, wherever I need to go. But right now I'm gonna delete him. Let's see here. The other thing that this comes with is a couple games, and what the main part here is the blackboard, which is kind of cool. like a mathematics physics game so the idea is you get the balloon there so drag that there and I want to rotate it oh. so I'm click the play button and we're gonna see what happens so that's the blackboard you can play around with that this will this will also run on the uh, this will all run on the uh, any computer, but it's much better for touchscreens, which makes sense. So, get rid of that. And that's my presentation of that.